Hey guys, Traffic Fisherman checking back in. So, I'm back at a local park. Um, haven't had too much success here. Um, I did catch a nice, about, I didn't have my scale, but it was probably a little over three pounder um, on a spinnerbait a few weeks ago. Um, weather's been fluctuating. We kind of have a, a slight cold front coming in. It's only about, I think, 67 or 68 right now. Um, so kind of, you know, trying to follow these fish and see what they're doing, you know, with this fall transition. Um, been throwing a lot of swim jigs, uh, spinner baits, uh, trick worms. So I'm gonna see if I can locate them. You guys stay tuned. All right guys, so first thing I'm gonna try is the uh, this Kevin Van Dam swim jig on a split tail grub. Just gonna kind of see if uh, anything's around, what they're biting on, if they're active. You know, with the swim jig, if you guys aren't familiar with throwing them, um, pretty much the same thing as a spinner bait without the blade. You know, you can do a straight retrieve, you can give it a shake, you can pop it, I mean, you can stall it. So, this water seems like it turned a little bit last time I was here, it was a little bit cleaner. Um, check them brakes like I said I got a little bit of wind coming in so you always want to check them but it's always good with the wind coming in here on these banks usually these fish will be holding that's where it's gonna blow most of the bait with this water turned up a little bit like this um, I might switch over to a chatter bait give them a little bit more to look at um, I'm just gonna hit this hit this ledge over here all right guys, so I decided to make a quick switch. I did a, um, a shaky head, a trick worm, watermelon candy. I just think, um, you know, we got a bluebird sky, not a lot of wind. Um, you know, this place does get a lot of pressure. Um, you know, you, this is, I can usually get them on a shaky head, you know, on a trick worm. That'll kind of, determine I think how the rest of your day is gonna go if you're ever in doubt you know throw a shaky head throw a worm on there There we go. Oh, I still got him on. No. I don't know how that happened. But the bike came where I thought it would. Uh, I got caught up on that patch of that grass over there. But the bite was so subtle. But, you know, that came right in the edge, right where I thought it should be.
All right. Little guy, not bad. Looks like he's been caught before. But again, that bite came right at the edge of that weed line. But little guy, feels cold. Just making sure that was on. Look at this guy. We got BFV. Yo. What's up, man? What's going on, man? I see you over here catching no mama at all. What you growing? Um, minnow star, baby. Right here. Oh, um, shake your head. That's a long guy. When we touch it, got a trick worm on mine. Bolton, though, man, right, right, at, right at the edge. Right on the edge. Right on the edge, dude. That one I just caught, dude, I was I, I, I was almost caught up, you know what I mean? I was dangling, I just let it go down, and just came up and sucked it. But like I said, the other one, by the bridge, same thing, right on that, right on the edge, dude. I, I, you probably caught more fish out of this particular spot than I caught in my whole career out here. Huh. <laughs> I don't come here often, but a few times I heard came, I only caught like, I think, two fish out of here. Little buddy hanging out here, sunning. What are we throwing, Jay? Okay. And you say, you know, they're pretty much running in shallow areas. Right along, shoreline. yeah, right along the edges. So I'm just trying to trigger them a little bit, jump off. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Just like I said. Look at that. Jump off the shoreline. Woo! The spicy joker. Yeah, he put the hooks. Come on. A little small one. It's a little small, but you know what? It works. Great hook sets. Little pale boy. Cold too, right? Yeah, he is yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah. That's one. But that bite, guys, like I said, came right on the edge, right at the edge. Yes, sir. All today. It was a good day. Um, like I said, it's been a while. It's been really hard to figure out these fish. Um, and like I said, the area that we're in, particular area that we're in, you know, um, Highly pressured water. Um, I almost want to go out one day just to show you how many. I, when I say highly pressured, I mean there's a lot of these fingers that come out. You know, you walk down, come on a finger and fish, walk down, go go back out. Um, and there's been days we've been there, and there's been no lie, like eight people at least fishing. I mean, it's it's you know these fish see everything. Um, so that's why today's been, you know, a good day. And I'm, you know, happy to be able to bring you guys some content. Um, you know, that's all I've been working on and trying to do um, for you guys. Just find places that I can go and fish and actually get on some fish. Um, like I said, I am excited about where we're going next. We make the move in January. Um, some of you that follow the channel probably know where we're heading next. Um, those of you that don't, stay tuned because um, there's going to be a lot of great content coming. A lot of different fish, multi-species, uh, freshwater, saltwater. It's going to be a really good time. Here we go. That was a good one, guys. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good fish. He was hanging out right on the edge. Right where it should be. Oh, guys, look at this fish. This is a beast. Whoa. Guys, look at this fish. Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
this is what we're looking for guys <sighs> look at the size of this fish exactly what I'm looking for okay Guys, look at that. Fat, fat belly. Look at that. It's a good three and a half. That's a big fish, guys. Look at that. Right. Good size fish. Let's go. Look at that. That's a good indication of what they're doing because they're fat, so they're feeding. Hey guys, so hope you enjoyed uh, today's little adventure. Caught a few fish. Um, it's uh, It's been a little hard, you know, fishing out here in Tallahassee. Um, I'm really trying to find some places that we can fish so I can bring you guys the best content. Um, you know, I really haven't had much luck lately out here. So appreciate all the support guys. They like said, you know, I, I was on that break for a while. A lot of things uh you know happened um but i'm back i'm catching up on older videos that you guys are seeing so hopefully here soon we'll be caught up all right guys thanks for tuning in to this edition of the driving fisherman hope you guys enjoyed today's episode caught a couple fish and guys remember a bad day of fishing it's a good day at work